want to show you guys a point of view of what it's like to walk through the garage. There is very little space and my goal is for one day for there to be enough space to walk by without feeling really cramped. So yeah, that is my goal. So here is some Christmas stuff. Also, I know for a fact that those bins have Christmas stuff. I wanted to start the video with that clip in the beginning of what the garage used to look like and this is what we're working with today as of March 2023 and it's been a long process and I'm just so grateful that a lot of you guys are still sticking around and have been with me throughout this whole journey and now as you guys have seen in the previous video we're at the point where we can start organizing things and that's what we're doing today in the last garage video you guys might remember if you saw it that i found this black plastic organizer that i put together and made space for in the garage last time and that was pretty easy for me to do by myself but this time around we have a more heavier sturdier storage rack that we're working with and for today's video, I am happy that my brother and my dad are joining me and helping me today. In the last video, you guys probably remember that I got the black plastic rack for free. And this time around, I was also able to get this storage rack for free from my local Buy Nothing group once again. I swear I feel like the universe handed me this one because I was not actively looking for one. I just happened to come across it one day and there were many people that commented that they were interested in it and so I kind of lost hope at that point but clearly you can see that I was chosen to take it home with me so I was very happy about that. So since this one is a lot bigger and we just need to make space for it, we ended up finding a time where me, my dad, and my brother could all get together and work on it because this would have definitely taken a lot longer if I did it by myself. And also just moving everything in here is a lot heavier for me to do on my own so I'm very happy that we were all able to work together today. So we ended up deciding that the best place for this would be at the corner in the far right side of the garage. So clearly there's a lot of stuff there still that we're trying to move out of the way to make space for the storage rack to go in. As I stand in the garage today, I just always think back to where we started and you guys probably remember that there was this car here and the car was full with stuff inside it, on top of it, around it. and. At one point, we could not be standing where we're standing now. Some of you guys have been asking where the car is and it's still in the same place. It's at the auto repair shop that my sister's boyfriend works at. And the problem has been that the parts to fix the broken window has been hard to find because it's such an old classic car that they don't really make that type anymore. So it's just been sitting there for this whole time and I'm sure eventually it'll be back. I'm not 100% sure what the plan is going to be, but it's in a safe spot and location. So that's where it is right now. So here at this point, we were able to move the stuff out of the way and make room for the storage rack in this corner and it fit perfectly in here just still moving some stuff that's around it trying to find other spots for it as we were moving some of the stuff out of this corner i came across a few things that i suggested to be decluttered and i've bought it up in the past before and i brought it up again but my dad is very adamant about not letting it go so there's only so much that i can say and do to get some of the stuff out of the garage but at the end of the day he has his own reasonings as to why he wants to keep it but you know it's not going to be there forever i'm sure of that we already discussed this and but for now, we're just going to just work around it and work around the stuff that he does want to keep 
that are kind of taking up a little bit space just because the shapes are a little bit awkward but I mean we got the storage rack in here and we're organizing it so we're making progress. I feel like I say this in every single video, but I'm really thankful for you guys for continuing to watch these videos and you guys seem to enjoy it. And even though there's been so many times where I've just wanted to completely give up just because there's been some setbacks and everything, I'm just, I'm still here. I'm still creating these videos and I'm just happy that we've come so far and it's been taking quite some time as you guys saw, the first video that I made was back in October 2021 and it's just been a long journey. So thanks for all the feedback, for watching, for liking and subscribing and also calling me patient because whenever you guys say that I'm patient, I just can't help but laugh because I'm the most impatient person on the planet. So I feel like it's, it's a good thing that I'm patient when it comes to this because Normally, I'm not, so thank you guys again. Now the storage rack is put together and it's ready for my favorite part, which is organizing. I wanted to put all the Christmas stuff in one spot because right now it's kind of just in the middle of the garage, also in another corner, so I wanted to put everything together. And so that's my main idea for the storage rack was to put all the bins there. So. 95% of the bins are all Christmas stuff. If you guys have seen my other videos, you guys know that my dad has a ton of Christmas stuff and even after decluttering it that one time, he still has a lot of Christmas stuff. So we decided that it was a good idea to put all the Christmas stuff together onto the storage rack. Not all the Christmas stuff were in bins though. Some of them were sitting in just random boxes like this one right here. So we were able to find room into the bins and put some stuff in it so that way we can toss out the cardboard boxes and just use the bins only. So it was nice that we were able to fit all the stuff in here and get rid of the cardboard box. As we're getting the bins onto the storage rack off the floor, I'm finding some other stuff that could be decluttered. So like, for example, this is a home decor piece that was inside the living room for a long time and it was brought out to the garage a while ago and that's something that can be decluttered. So I actually started a small donate pile and you'll see at the end of the video the stuff that we got rid of. Sitting on top of the bins on the very top of the rack are a couple of suitcases. There's actually some suitcases inside the suitcases and I think one of you guys commented in a video a while ago that to save some space you can put your suitcase, a smaller one, inside the bigger one and that tip just stuck with me and I thought it was genius so that's what we did here. So we have just two suitcases sitting on top of the storage rack. These bins are 
Some of them are Christmas stuff and then others are more memory boxes that belong to my siblings. And so those are being placed around the storage rack, just stacked on top of each other right there. And we found that's the best place for them as well. So basically all the bins are in this corner of the garage. This purple and turquoise bin has been sitting here empty for a while. I'm not sure if you guys remember, but in a few videos ago when we were donating stuff to the school, we ended up taking this bin which was full of paperwork to go be shredded and recycled. So ever since that day, this bin has been sitting here empty and just been trying to figure out what we were going to put in here because I knew it would come in handy. I didn't want to get rid of it and so today is finally the day where we were able to fill this empty bin up with a couple of inflatables for the Christmas season and yeah we put those in here and now we were able to get rid of their boxes that they came in originally and instead of having those we ended up fitting everything in here. By now we have all the Christmas stuff on the storage rack except for these boxes of wreaths and we were trying to figure out where to put them on because the storage rack is kind of full of stuff now. I initially wanted to put it on top of the bins but we ended up putting the suitcases on there as you saw just so that they're not on the floor getting squished and trampled. <laughs> So we put those on top and then we had to figure out where we were going to put the wreaths. So we ended up finding a spot for them, which you will see shortly. So this is what we're decluttering today. We have a trash bag full of old blankets and linens. And then we are recycling the cardboard boxes and then the other boxes on the bottom that had the Christmas inflatables in, but we put into the purple storage bin instead. This whole pile here is donate as well. We have bags of clothing, some toys, gift bags, home decor items. This is the smallest donate pile that we've had this far, which is nice because we've obviously gotten rid of a lot of stuff in the past. Now I'm just adding some finishing touches to the bins. So I am creating labels just using index cards and a black sharpie to write what's in the bins and just taping them up there. And this is going to make it so much easier when it comes to Christmas time. We'll know what's inside every single bin and we'll be able to pull it all out easily. No more climbing over stuff, no more moving heavy stuff around just to get to the bins. I'm looking forward to this holiday season and what my dad's thoughts are on the storage rack and just how much time he's going to save with finding everything easily and just putting things back easy too. Here is the after. Everything is so neatly organized now and these other things around the storage rack are stuff that they want to keep. A lot of this stuff is just more memory bins, sentimental items. That's all here on the floor around it. And here are the bins, all labeled, every single one of them. That way, when it's time to use these things, we know exactly what the things are.
This is how the garage looks like today as of March 2023. I'm just still so shocked at how this looks. Never in my life did I expect that this garage could ever look like this. It's not perfect, but it is such a big difference than before. Now the main last thing that we need to work on is all of my dad's stuff, which again, I've mentioned before is just something that he's going to have to do on his own whenever he has time. But besides that, look how awesome it looks. This is what the corner used to look like before. It actually was worse than this. This is actually in the middle of the decluttering process, but I can't find the original clip of what the corner looked like, but this is just in the middle of decluttering, which we got rid of most of the stuff, and now this is what this corner looks like. So this took us about three hours and I'm just so glad that I had help this time. It was way faster obviously to do everything and it was just nice to have my dad here so that he knows exactly where everything is now and everything's all labeled and neatly organized and he and my mom and everyone just loves how it turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And if this is your first time here, make sure you check out the playlist where I have the whole series on this hoarder, garage, declutter, and organization. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.